Native American oracle cards, okay? On top of the deck, we have the snake, which is number 12, all right? And notice the rainbow here. Notice that it's a green snake. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have number 11, which is pretty interesting, number 11 and 12, top and bottom, right? And it says, uh, and it's a crow, right? So let's read it, okay? So with the crow, which is in the bottom, it says the power. Crow is a rich, powerful symbol being very closely associated with the shamans who are not afraid to travel through the invisible world. Like shamans, crows can be tricksters, which is a type of teacher. Crow foretells experiences that may be unexpected, but full of wisdom. Crow is also very smart and uses his wisdom to create organized culture, exhibiting the right use of power, thereby creatures more power. The shitapu stick is made with various woods, with various associations, and often painted green and light blue and adorned with feathers. It was used by various tribes to seek grace from the gods or to guarantee fertility. Messages, all of life is a lesson. Learn the lessons, be smart, and practice the right use of power, and don't take yourself so seriously. Keywords, power, organization, authority, gifts, offered and received, respect, and mischievousness. Uh, time, October, the month of leaves falling. All right. Number 12, snake. Renewal. Snakes, sh snakes are highly symbolic of suggest ideas around primal knowledge, fear, deep miseries, healing cycles, and duality. Because of the snake's practice of the shedding its skin, it is also strong represent, representative of renewal and change. Snake is as associated with birds as well, and the ground, and therefore, the connection between heaven and earth. Various myths connect snake to rain and to corn, making him also a sign of the continuity of life. Snake is shown with a rainbow because it's two. It's a symbol that connects the earth and sky and the constant renewal of continuation of life. Messages, keep in mind the cycles of life and flow with them, changing and continually growing. Keywords, renewal, primal knowledge, magic, secret power and ability, healing, cycles, connection, time, November, the month of frost. Wow, that is very powerful. And in my previous readings, uh, you notice that I was talking about snakes and crows. <laughs> so it's pretty interesting how like the decks just continue um, clarifying themselves. I mean, I had it right here, you see, with the dark goddess, right? And Galilea and Dorans. Look at those birds. All right, and then the snake, we had it in Enigma, in Ghana, health, right? So if we know that it's half snake, half woman, right? All right, let's continue. Okay, there we go. Okay, we have number six. The beaver. Okay. Number nine. Okay, the swordfish. Right. And then we have number four, the coyote. It's a it's a wolf actually. With a knife. And then we have number ten, the bear. from my left hand. Okay, number 
17, number 19, okay, then we have number 18, harvest, and then we have number 8, right, wood, woody woodpecker, okay, all right, let's see. We have number 19. It says the twin gods are, pre are prevalent throughout Native American mythology. Sometimes they are represented as good and evil, fighting each other for supremacy and control. Some myths say that they co create humans, which is why have both good and, and bad equalities. In some traditions, there are not good and evil, but opposites, like day and night, like, like life and death, summer and winter. In these cases, they are rivals rather than enemies. Sometimes they are even partners working together on a task quest. In, in this card, the background is the sign used for ritual divinations incorporating the directions and the paths of planets through the heavens. If a message, if a decision seems impossible, wait and watch. The best solution will reveal itself at the last moment. Keywords, uncertainty, doubts, fluidity, difficult decisions, irrevocable choice obstacles, the time is the middle phase of a situation or season. And then we do have number 18, fertility. The corn mother is the mother of earth, the mother of all plants. It is said that she produces corn by rubbing her body, a practice that some found disgusting in some myths. She is put to death and in some, and in some she escapes to the heavens in both the four her death she provides instructions and seeds to ensure that she continue the production of corn she is of course associated with corn maize which provides for the strength and continuity of humans the corn mother uh, is often shown with sleeping child in her arms for a labyrinth her partner the sun sky god is depicted by a cross Message, patience, gentleness, forgiveness, and sacrifice are sometimes necessary to bring something from seed to life. Keywords, fertility, creativity, birth, gentleness, patience, abundance, nourishment, well-being, and sacrifice. Time, the beginning phase of a situation or the sun. All right. And then we have number 17, the great spirit of Wakan Tonkin. The Wakantanka is a great spirit of the Lakota, the intense and dangerous power of the great mystery. The subtle energy permeates all, permeates all beings. Every part of the cosmos, the sun, the moon, the sky, earth, wind, animals, plants, and humans has its own spirit, but Wakantanka is the subtle energy in everything, the energy that makes everything alive. Wakantanka is sacred and part of all things but not an equal measure of all all times some have more some use a, it freely some hold a type the evil is a symbol of a great spirit which watches over the world evil is the only creature able to fly from the the, the visible to the invisible worlds and leads initiates through the mysteries of life and death and beyond all right and then we have message you have an axis of to power, wisdom beyond humans' understanding, as wait and listen. Keywords: miracle, divine will, faith, earthly uh, manifestations of the sacred messages and answers. Time is winter. All right. Then we have number ten. Okay, number ten. The bear. Bear means many things, including strength, confidence, and protection, because bear.